Hey guys, it's Ming Man Dragon Knight. As you probably can see, we're playing Miles Edgeworth, uh, his attorney investigations, prosecutor's path, or how you want to uh, otherwise say it. His attorney, Miles Edgeworth investigations, prosecutor's path, and this video has been sponsored by Coca Cola. Hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> no, it is spons sponsored by something else. What then? The game is by Capcom, right? Uh, it's sponsored by yep. Capcom. <laughs> I wish that was the truth. I love, I like Capcom. Because of Capcom. Mega Man. <laughs> yeah, it's it's just saying on the Cap Capcom company. Yeah, it, if if they can make a new Mega Man Battle Network game, I will definitely buy it. Even if it's just totally different from the GBA series. Like even I even won't mind if it's like fully 3D, not side scrolling, no like legit 3D. Like you have to walk around, shoot viruses, or uh, do investigations or solve cases in the real world with LAN. That would be perfect. I really would like that. You, Justin? Would be pretty epic. Yeah, that would be really epic. Like you walk around in the real world trying to solve human problems, and you have like in that problems. You go as Mega Man, and you check out into objects, that, that will be freaking cool. Even if people like making that as a fat game, I will do it. I will love that. <laughs> I will like it. Beep, 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 beep. You, Justin? Yeah, I would totally play that game. That <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cool. <laughs> I'm still buying the Battle Network games. I'm like, I don't mind it if I have to buy it again on the Switch or again on the PC. I don't mind because I'm get definitely getting it because ba Mega Man Battle Mor Network are my favorite Gunning gem. Shut up, watch. I don't know. You don't know how I don't want to jog because I'm jogging in my chair. <laughs> it's a little bit too excited there, bro. Yeah, you are jogging with your butt already <laughs> oh shit i have to go about the spongebob movie <laughs> oh my god goofy gooper indeed <laughs> but let's keep on going huh we're doing pretty good yeah what do you say Sarah? I, I saw, I actually uh, saw, um, heard about something and it was like, um, it's me. R R R. Nick, nice time. And the game he says, nice sock. But somebody actually have. Uh, from the ass to a C. And what did you spell? Nice cock. That's <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> 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 great. Yes, the the person that's charge of the evidence was Sebastian the best. <laughs> Rookie. <laughs> Because he is! <laughs> rookie, rookie, rookie! Simon says rookie! Woohoo! You, Simon! I guess you need a rookie prosecutor, right? Got it! Leave him to me. And to you, sorry. I said it wrong. Oh, it's time for Uncle Ray to have a strategy meeting with the opposing council. Just the two of us! <laughs> I guess you want to say the two of us, but then I kind of interrupted. <laughs> Miles Edgeworth, you better not keep me waiting, lest you end up your friend here. Yes, I'll keep that in mind. Miss Von Karma. Pie, wait for me! No, no, 
Wait for me! <laughs> now then, let's go help look for Sebastian as well. Sebastian. Oh, there is Judge Courtney. Ah! Judge Courtney. If it isn't a prosecutor, Edgewa. I hope that all is well. It is not well. Just what was that going on in the trail earlier? Okay, there's no need for that. But even to Miss Courtney should know exactly who the culprit is. What made you? In the court of law, the only thing that truly matters is evidence. Whatever my own feelings may be, should not affect the verdict. It does make sense. At least she is respectful. True. Is this the judge persona of jo Justine Corny we seeing? Wait, she has a judge persona? Shit, my playing persona! Shit! I need to find my mask. Oh, wait, I don't have one. Uh, put my headband somewhere. Just don't know where. Sunglasses on, that will be your mask persona. Yeah, sounds good, sounds good. <laughs> Bye, girl. Sunglasses. I'm ready. Awaken! <laughs> 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 Cold blooded and heartless. It's fine if you think of me as such. Even a judge, she's still st this stubborn. Ah, poop, why did I lose it? Never mind. Just Courtney. There's just one thing I'd like you to ask you. Oh. You. Then, would that be? Two nights ago, you went to the rooftop of the Grand Tower. The roof, you say? You met with the person there, correct? The two of you were caught on the security camera. With that. Today, the president's body was discovered, very close to the Grand Tower. I think I'm healed. Yep! From my headband! That... Give me a moment, guys. Wait, do I have it wide up? Nope, all the way around. Do do do. Yeah, there I go. I'm ready. You said the line? Yeah. You understand now, don't you? You're our suspect. What happened between you and the president on the roof? Yeah, was... <laughs> Just press it too fast. I was almost done with the with the thing. Oh, I was sorry, saying you were done. Sorry, my bad. I wasn't even done yet. Okay. Well, you can take my line then if you want. Indeed, that was shown on the security camera footage as well. What exactly did you and the president talked about? That I cannot say. I see, however, I cannot afford to let 
it up just yet. That being the case, huh? I only have one remaining option to use that. She's definitely hiding something. And I'm going to draw it out of her. Oh, Jess? No. Yes! <laughs> Ooh. Yes. yes. <laughs> Are you ready, bro? Are you having uh, answers ready? I'm ready. Now I have a, I have set up my persona, the ninja. <laughs> <laughs> the ninja prosecutor. <laughs> oh, <that's> <laughs> it is true that I spoke with the president who won uh, the roof of the Grand Tower. Hmm. However, we only discuss business. There's no need to tell you what 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 it was saying. What it said. Hmm, like like the trial earlier. You won't reveal your personal feelings easy. If you speak as a judge, it will better be for me to wait and see what develops. Now then, I will start by asking what she's talking about with the president. Hit me, bro. Hit me, hit me, hit me. Okay. Oh. First one is what did you and the president talk about? It was the only option. That was easy. Can you tell me what about you and the president talked about? Dear Sierra, dear Sierra. You're dozing Beep, 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 beep. Paging. Paging Sierra. Paging Sierra. <laughs> <laughs> what the? Hello? Hello. My meeting with the president was strictly business. That was strange. You suddenly were silent and like, then you mute it and then like, boop, you're back. Going on with my thing here. Try to discover what it is. Oh, cool. Okay, let's go. Let's freaking go. Uh, since it's nothing to do with you, I am not obliged to answer your question. I appreciate your understanding. Even so, you certainly are a very busy person, aren't you? You're a member of the PIC and a judge as well. Even your assistant in the assistant in the, with the investigations. Blech. I am simply fulfilling the professional duties that have been assigned to me. What was the meaning of the president? Also, one of the duties to assigned as assigned to you as a judge. Yes, of course it was. <coughs> I am the one who lives for the law. I would never act outside my professional duties. What is he? Didn't you help me this morning? This morning, you returned case promise notebook to me. I don't believe that all of your actions are simply done for the sake of your duties. Boom! One! It's true, it seems I still retain some immunity or qualities. 
I was call I wouldn't have called him mature. It was your own personal kindness. You weren't also restricted when you found out that the president's passed away. Yes, this is very unfortunate. Why did he have to die? It's easy you were crushed by the head of a monster called the Mighty Moo <laughs> Silly, bro. <laughs> Actually, Mozilla is up. <laughs> is that true? You mean the president died at the temporary Mozilla film lot? Yes, that's right. I'm surprised that you know about Mozilla. <laughs> I love doing that. That's the Moomin Minsons. <laughs> yes. I had heard about it from Sebastian. Where is that little maggot? <laughs> is that my line? Yeah, I know. I just have something to argue with that. How does who? How did he she came to know it? If Sebastian ran away, how ha, uh, has she had contact with him? Because he hid. He hid under his bed. He told me that the movie was being filmed near the Grand Tower. Okay, my audio is good enough. She seemed awfully shaken up about that. I'm also curious about Sebastian, who went missing along with the evidence. He had to see and talk about the president. However, I might be able to get her to reveal her secret though on a line of questioning. What? <laughs> She's infested beyond normal. Must be something reason behind it. Francesca might have taken over the prosecution in Sebastian's place, however, as long as he still possesses some kind of evidence, the trial cannot proceed. Time to carry out the fair trail. <sighs> Prosecutors unable to present evidence. The defendant must be declared not guilty. She's still guilty. She's still guilty. She's still guilty. Yep. Guilty. Justin. Lindsay. Got it. The I am a judge. I cannot allow my own personal feelings to get in the way. So you're saying you're not at least a bit worried about Spanish whereabouts? I am. I am worried about Sebastian as well, but. Are you worried about anyone else? Are you worried about Sebastian as well? Wouldn't that mean that there is someone else you're worried about? Huh? By any chance, would that person have something to do with your unnatural behavior? Impossible. You're only human I'm as a judge is the next one, bro. I will not be swayed by personal feelings. Next time, wait for what till share is done, bro. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> it may be true that those who stand in court have the duty to follow the law. However, we're not superheroes. You or I are only human. You and I are only human. That's what he said. Okay. That's on my mic. It's impossible to completely ignore your own feelings and render an impartial judgment. It 
it's as you say. <coughs> I, as I am now, I cannot hand down the impermal verdict. Judge Courtney, why don't you tell me the truth? I, I, just what I'm supposed to do. Wow, there's a new scene of her. Struggle. Yeah. We just care need to become this this trot. I should find out exactly who he sees searching for. Up until now she has been wearing a mask of ju a judge. This time I will be able to draw out her true feelings. Justin! Are you searching for the best? Are you the person for searching for Sebastian by any chance? When Sebastian learned of his father's true cause, he went into hiding for his own free will. <clears throat> I am worried about him, but this may be the trail he needs to overcome on his own. Can see. Since he went into hiding of his own accord, he could not return whenever he wanted to. Let me know what's. Let me know what this next one, bro. Let me know. Because uh, he's who's the chicken. child you speak of? Child, got it. He's just two chicken. Yeah. <laughs> Could it be the person you're searching for is unable to return under their own power? In regards of that, my lips are sealed. I am unable to talk about it right now. When I think about what might happen to that child if I talked. You say, uh. The child, will you tell me who you're referring to? Nothing. Pay it no mind. Did I pick the wrong you one, said... bro? No, it's okay. Um, the next one is: Are you searching for Moozilla? <laughs> yeah, I'm Moo. The Scorny expressions has changed. Seems I have managed to uncover a clue. Are you searching for the mighty Moozilla? <laughs> I don't have the time to play along with your jokes right now. It's not a joke. Just a moment ago, you were surprised by, to learn the president has been crushed by Mozilla, correct? Th th that was a, I said be surprised by the president's chaos of that. <coughs> You think that he passed away at the Tumbley film lot? All of of all places. What's wrong with where he died? Where he died? From where? What you? The way you are talking, it seems you have a problem with where he died. That's not true. It's just for the president that has passed away. Film lot place where dreams are made. I just it would be better if the movie cast and crew remained unaware of the truth. Member found the body. I'm sorry, very sorry to say this. However, the movie cast. And the crew are already aware of the president's death. I encountered a female staff and member and John Marsh at the crime scene. I need to clean this plaza up when I.
Mm. She seemed to react strongly when it comes to the staff of Mozilla film. That could be a useful clue. Please search me for. Uh, Courtney, tell me who you're searching for. <clears throat> My lips are sealed. That is not something I can talk about right now. It's gonna be that missing child is the next one. Missing child, got it. Let me try using that clue. Could it be you're searching for that child who has been gone missing? Since you said it, it was a child, I presume that it was young, at a young age, right? He said he cannot answer any questions about it. That boy has nothing to do with you, or the president that you have to make him. Boy. Is he, in, oh, is he involved in the Mozilla movie? I'm guessing who she's talking about is about John. What yeah, do you guys think? I reckon. I reckon. Maybe I should be using that clue. Earlier, when Mozilla was brought up, it seems to be a sensitive to topic for you. Is that child you spoke of involved with the Mozilla film movie? Mm -hmm. You're usually so calm, yet rather distraught right now. Please tell me, who is that child? Understand. If you come to know this much, I shall prepare myself for the work. The child that I searching for is a boy of the name of John Mark. How did I knew? How did I knew? Because there's a boy, one boy. So far, yeah. There's one boy, and the only boy that is now present at the film set is that guy. Yeah. John, do you know. Do you want to know his whereabouts? Hmm. Well, that much I can't, simply cannot say. Judge Courtney, did you say you were prepared for the worst? <gasps> Even you don't intend to talk, I determined to expose the truth. That is my resolve. <laughs> okay, what? Well, what is the next one? Alright, the next one you want to pick is, are you a fan of his? Fan of his, got it. Why is he searching for John? I must get to tell the reason. Could it be you're a fan of John Marsh? What is the next one, bro? Hit me before. Wait and see. Wait and see, got it. That's right. I am a fan of John Marsh. The famous cow that has been called the Piggy. Dot dot dot. And the movie is being filmed in front of the Grand Tower. <laughs> so the Tepoli film lot has, has been on my mind. I see, I suppose a fan should be curious about that. Do you know that jo John was a temporary film lot? Yes. Uh, bro? Did you hear that from him? Did you hear that from him? Got it. Almost sounded like if John himself told you personally. Ah. I doubt he will give you his schedule to a mere, mere friend. That's true. 
acquainted with him. Acquainted, okay. She made another slip up of the to tongue. She must really be worried about John. So what you have spoken to John could be a useful clue. Are you acquainted with John by any chance? Wait and see is the next one. Got it. I actually had to hear it. I actually hadn't heard it from him until I met him today. Next one. You must have spoken with him. Spoken with him. You yeah, tend to lose your calm whenever a conversation turns to John, don't you? Let me try using that clue. You understand your word. I understand you're worried about him, but you aren't a bit flustered. You told me earlier that you have uh, spoken with John. It doesn't prove that you are indeed in quit with him. It appears that John and the Judge Corney are acquaintances. This could be a final clue. Where is he right now? Actually, we're searching for John as well. You happen to happen to have an, any idea where he might be? Why would you think that I would know where he is? John and I, there are no connection between us. I feel there is. Let me try using that clue. You two must be acquainted. I don't think what kind of relationship you have with John, but at the very least, the two of you have must have been acquaintances. Judge yeah. Corny, why won't you allow us to help you in your search for him? Who won't, won't allow it? The so-called justice of law, goddess of law? So judges. <laughs> Person who knows where the child is. Just kidnapped him, so I kidnap her. Charlie the killer. I see, finally I have connected all the pieces of the puzzle. Reason why you cannot easily talk about John. Is because someone kidnapped him. It, isn't that right? Ooh, we broken her heart. Ow. No. Judge Courtney. Oh. I would like to hear the truth from your own lips. I understand this time. It is just as you as I thought, it wa there was a kidnapping. Still, how is John kidnapping related to you anyway? John and I are... Mother and child. How? 
How did I knew? How did I knew? I suspected. I, I so, suspected it, but I wasn't sure. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> I was able to learn. Unable to learn much about the conversation, but she ha had with the president. But I have to look. I have. I have to learn of John's kidnapping. I was you gonna expect a result, but with that, it's checkmate. Time for my persona to disappear. Da, 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 da. What? John is Miss Courtney's son? Surprise! Who is the father? Yeah, I'm curious too. No way, I mean, he's already so big for him to be your, um. Yes, John is indeed my son. Hmm. <sighs> That had been always hurt so for a while. Hey, look at this. Okay, well look. This is a clipping from a magazine. This is an article book about John. Do you all do you always carry this? Wait, this is an article about John. Do you always carry this around with you? Yes, I always keep it close by. It's so strong to me. Seems the bond that he shared is a strong one. However, <laughs> you are absolutely certain that he has been kidnapped? Yes, I received a call from the kidnapper just before the trial started. So the trip. So that he got kidnapped as soon as we came across him. Remember when he ran away during the Mozilla uh, looking around stuff? Yeah, probably he was kidnapped around then. Yeah. What were the demands? They had only demands a not guilty verdict for Patricia Wolland. What? What has this to do with anything? I have a feeling that Sally the Killer is behind this, that he wants to have that bold murderer that is actually blind, that having his dog to be released, so our Patricia Rollins should um, have uh, also freedom, be perhaps, uh, I don't know. That she will have a bargain with him, to uh, so he will dis so that bold blind man to escape jail. Can be true, but because now, right now, Shelly the killer kidnapped our boy. I have no clue to be honest, but I'm. We will. We will wait and see. I see. So that's what happened. There's no evidence that would make me innocent of him, isn't that right, your honor? They planted it for us. That is correct. That's why she had those dots. She's she's putting up a face. Pursued significant evidence to prove the defendant guilty. I thought I hardly find the defendant, Patricia Rowland, not guilty. So that's why you were going to deliver and not guilty for the like, earlier. I have 
I'm not qualified to be a judge. You are. You just have problems now. A judge must be able to remain impartial uh, and composed above all else. And yet, despite this, in the trail just now, I... <sighs> I was about to hand down the verdict that sat salty by my heart. Just corny. The gods of love must be furious to see. But I simply couldn't do it. I couldn't turn down a fair verdict. I mean, I had to sacrifice my own son. Of course you can. Okay. A real parent would never abandon their own child. If that makes the goddess of law angry, then maybe the goddess is the one who is wrong. The goddess is guilty. Guilty! Isn't that right, Mr. Ekla? Indeed. To declare a goddess guilty? We're responsible for upholding the law, but at the same time, we're only human. Nobody handed down a ver verdict that would sacrifice their own child. You very much, Mr. Faraday, prosecute Ekla. However, I cannot simply run away from the court room. Just going in. So this is where you have been. It appears it's time. It appears it's time. Yeah, sorry, I got a message on my phone. Sorry. My father, he was the prosecutor. Your father? Um. Yes, he stood in court, just like you. And now, with all that had has happened, it got me thinking. What if my father had been in the, in the same position as you are now? If, yes, if the prosecutor was being coerced in, into obtaining a guilty verdict. I know, if my life were on the line, my father... Would definitely come to steal me back. Steal me back? Miss Courtney, why don't you let us take care of it? Sounds like a good plan. What? I'm gonna go steal John back for you. The second yet the goddess leaves. I, Kay Faraday, give you my word. Ugh. Yeah, so there's the great TV other guy who plans to steal the truth, huh? Sorry, will you place your trust in our young thi great thief? If it's all right with you, I will wish you to help as well.
my place to ask this of you. But please, do whatever you can. Please, save John. You got it. Just leave everything to us. Allow me to leave my cell phone with you. Cell phone? Nice. Yeah, my word. I will share a safe return of your phone along with your son. Two more hours, huh? So until 2 p.m. That's our time frame. Okay, thought you were taking a break from being the great thief. So, in that case, we better begin our investigation post haste. If we hope to track down John. Might have just gone home. Back home. That's right, I mean, if he doesn't look like he's going to get any filming one today. Or he maybe have run away. Oh, well, one ray is not an option anymore. We probably begin our investigation from the front of the Grand Tower. That's the case then what I'm supposed to do. You, Atra, you get to be my first ever great thief assistant! <laughs> so I'm a thief assistant now. Wait, let's get going. The great thief Yatagatu takes fight once again with his little buddy. Hello. Yeah.
Here are. Uh, internet or I don't <laughs> April 6, 12, 10 p.m. outside Grand Tower Tower Plaza. <laughs> Here we are, the scene of the crime. Let's get to work! <laughs> With me, Mr. Ashworth. Can somebody say me? <laughs> Hello. Mm, say what? Even in the depths of night. <laughs> oh, come on, say the rest with me. Hell, <laughs> no. And just why should I do that? Because the great thief that the goddess who has arrived on the scene! Beedy bing. If we don't say the introduction, it doesn't feel right. I have no intention of becoming a thief. Oh, fine then, I do it by myself. Even in a dip of night. When no other bird dares to take flight. The one forced to shine the light of her death brought her this to the world's bride. And that one is me, for I am the great thief Yatagarasu. Yes, Kay, we know you are. And I, on the other hand, I'm starting the investigation. You're no fun. <laughs> we only have until two two o'clock. We better begin making inquiries immediately. so we can ride ahead and start asking around. Outside Grand Tower Tower Plaza. I see somebody familiar. Do you see him, bro? <clears throat> he does look familiar. What's that guy's name again? Um... Um... Strong was it? Something with strong? It was me that had, had his voice, right? Yeah. Okay, I'll check. I know who he is. He's the lion man. Yeah. Long time to see, Miss Edgeworth. You are. Will this Powers. is Will, Will Powers. He's an actor star when we met. I met on the previous case. He also played a role in the Steel Samurai Warrior of Neo Auto Tokyo. Been a long time. Thank you, I'm Kay Faraday, the great thief. Some stuff has happened, so now Mr. Atrus is my assistant. Nice to meet you, but uh, a thief? And Mr. Uh, Edgeworth is your assistant? Please pay no heat. No, more important, I would like to ask you some questions about the case. Okay, but I don't know if I can be much help though. Hmm, he is an actor who has been working with John. 
maybe a bit sudden, but he, let's hear him what he has to say. I heard that you were handling an investigation for this case, but... Mm, well, that's... I'm not the, the prosecutor in charge, though. But if you're the assistant, it doesn't mean that the key is in charge. No, uh, this is just simply miss. You a good eye on you. You're completely right. She jumped at the chance. Who's he trying to imitate? Be frank, huh? Well, I feel sorry for the victim, but I can't help but worry about what happened to the filming from now on. Well, that's not only natural. I still think that filming would be difficult now. I knew it. This is bad. We can only use this location for a while, a little while longer, too. The filming almost complete then? Yeah, but the construction will begin here soon, so we won't be able to film here anymore. We only use this fact a lot to well till the construction begins. That is the rest of the movie will filming the at the global studios. Things are looking good. There's even some people spreading bad rumors. Bad rumors? Lately a journalist has been coming in by repeating say this film that I've been hiding a real monster, I reckon. I mean and there's no hiding in stuff like that. I have a feeling I know who that you're talking about. Yeah, it was the photograph of you from before. You're not actually hiding a real monster, are you? Of course not. Uh, if there was really one, I'll be out of the job. It seems they are putting a lot of work in this movie it's because it's our first attempt in a sequel to an old classic you can see them pouring their heart and soul into this one i wish they put that mo much effort making new steel samurai series hey he loves steel samurai yay what role we are you playing this time mr powers i am playing the mighty moose <laughs> she had to do it Well, much obliged. I'm wearing a full body costume again, but my face won't be seen it this time either. Aziz, the, that costume sure is cool though. I'm gonna try wearing it too. I know, how about next time you let me get the disgust costume? Maybe just the horn part? Yeah, it's not really possible. You can get these, you can get inside the horns. I don't think that's what's he, what he meant. I would like you to ask you some questions about John. About John? Oh, I heard about it. The girl on the staff. Oh, he suddenly vanished from right in front of you guys. And just like him. Does he do that a lot? I will say so. During film breaks, even though if you took your eyes off him for a moment, you be gone. Do you have any ideas as to where he might be gone? I don't know, but I ran into him when he was leaving the film lot. Really? Where did John go? I was I'm going into. I saw uh, him getting in the trailer, but. When I was checking the equipment, he was gone over again. Trailer, huh? 
There might still be some traces left behind him. Miss Paris, could you show us the trailer? Shooting is a bit of the mess right now, though. Let's take up his offer and examine the inside of the trailer. Okay, he's back legit. Um, Bassy's not here. The basket looks pretty suspicious to me, but it's really does. Huh? What's wrong, Mr. Atwood? Why are you touching the truck? Trucker body is called to be touched. They have been parked here for some time. Did I figure it all out just by touching it? Consider the length of the time they have been parked here. The driver must not be nearby. I suppose we won't be able to ask questions until they return. Hey, that was a good choice for me to check. Go ahead, bro. He's yours. Thank you for your hard work, Prosecutor Edgeworth. Huh? I'm not a prosecutor at the moment, but I'll keep quiet for that for now. Thank you. What are you doing here? Sir, I'm on guard duty. Then want to tell me about the cars I've been passing through here today? The only ones that came through here were that taxi and that blue truck. So the two different vehicles came through this place. Five information. Good to know. One logic. Check. How much logic do we have? Two? Yep. Do I take this, bro? Hey! Buddy! Yes. Have you picked up any passages here today? Oh, I sure did. But it was only one group. What did they all look like? It was a pair of men. They were both wearing black. Did it happen a small boy with them? Here's a... Oh. Ow, was jinx it. It was just the two guys. Two guys. Two guys went before me, Coco. <laughs> I understand. Thank you for your cooperation. I was hoping you would have some more information for us, but I guess not. Damn it, I hate it when that happens. Uh, wait, what? Wow, John's seat. Oh, it's over here. What a backpack is setting. Hmm? Something is sticking out of the back. This is a tape. Huh? It's a tape for the filming. What did John, uh, John have one? Can we film something? It might be a clue. Is there any way we can check its contents? We have a monitor to look at. Oh, the footage well, that was filmed. We can use that. Now then, let's see what's on the tape. This is, it looks like a, when John was practicing. Monster footprints can be seen as well, so this must have been caught last night. He does have some, that sometimes. When he is not happy with his performance, he will sneak onto the set to practice by himself. He sure is, although he's young, he's a real pro. He never rests until he's satisfied. Satisfied. 
I know. Then again, I can say that he approved. I approve of him using the equipment without asking. Is able is John John is able to operate the equipment all by himself? More or less, it's just basic filming. What's wrong? Why isn't John in on the scene anymore? I think he ran off somewhere just a few seconds before this. Did he go somewhere while the camera was still recording? The tape ends here. It looks like this was all that was recorded. Camera except for John. These are film equipment have been placed here. Are you filming today? No, nope, we have to stop filming for today since a box uh, has disappeared. A box? What is he talking about? Yeah, there was some equipment in that box. I take my eyes off it for just a few seconds and look at what happens. <laughs> so there is a thief among us? <sighs> oh, no. Among us. Among us. I did it! <laughs> just against my idea. There's a trade among us. Wait, what? <laughs> among us is the great <laughs> Exactly what was stolen? Nothing much, actually. Just the, the box is missing. I probably wanted that box more than whatever it was inside it. Did they plan to put something inside that box? Hmm, it's already half past twelve. I wonder how Miss Courtney and the others are holding up. How long will they be able to pro walk the, the trail? We gotta hurry and find John! Indeed. Uh, who's gonna take this one for a moment because I don't know who this is. Wait, wait. Oh, heck no. It's how it's done. Oh, crap. It's, <laughs> it's them. It's both of them. You aren't gonna cast a scoop like that. No, it's you. But I'm already telling you. We're beasts. They are here. It's those noisy reporters. Indeed. Good grief, if we must. <sighs> okay. Yeah, we have to. This is gonna be fun. What do you want? Laura, are you snooping around again? That's my line! Mm. Did Nicole Swift call you her mentor just now? Sure, sure, that's Nicole is my number one superior. She said she better not put the footage from my school. So she fell in love with Miss Hart's photos. Because you could say, like, teacher, like student. 
Indeed, we need more information about John. Let's show Miss Swift that a piece of that and ask her him. Now that the black market auctions are over, what are you aiming for next? There are really a place that should be paused or like that. What do we mean like a pool? What if we finally even climb slide up? Do we get our newspaper completely here at the Grand Tower? We only go over there all the time. Well, we always get thrown away at the door, but still. I wouldn't call to so call that a value client. I actually feel I need to present that paper as well. I like the photo. I guess this didn't catch your interest. Ah, yeah, good effort. Right, bro? It looks like you're doing pretty good. Even this is odd, Mr. Asper. So we meet again. Miss Swift, are you, why are you here? If you were set up a, as a suspect for the murder, still your involvement with the fake assassination plan remains a fact. You have to submit to the police questioning later. You should know that there's still some possibility you may be charged with some crime. The official statement releasing the, to the public about Asia Tent. It should have not been, not been involved, but it must have been the reason why they let her go. Hmm, she was quick to say something, something so harsh. Were they pursued to keep quiet or were they dramatizations simply too much? So far, probably all. So I'm not sure which is true. What information were you trying to collect here at the Grand Tower? You mean information that can be used in an article? Bingo! Give me some info that makes a good article. But you aren't got something like that. I guess we, we won't be talking. I also need some information about John. Let's show her that piece of evidence and try to ask her about him.
Uh, what are presenting, bro? Uh, you present the commemorative photo. Okay, so I was right on that. Miss Swift, I'm sorry, I'll, but about this photo. Going on. Yeah? What do you mean? You're searching for him, aren't you? That boy. What? Things are still pretty tough for you, I see. Mel Zetra, the man of crime, whenever he goes, that body are sure to follow. Yeah? Or something like that. That's a terrible reputation to have. Poor Todd. This time there will be a kidnapping incident. Huh? What? How did you know that? Shh, shh. Could you keep it down a little? This material top secret, I haven't told my mentor about it yet. You gotta, you gotta keep it secret for me. If she finds out, I'll be a goner. Why did, how, why do you know? It's going you should ha have only told us. Prosecutor. Seems this report is still as lawyer that lesson. Two black people? Hmm. But at least we know what the criminals looked like. Yes, a pair of black men. Ah, uh, okay. Hit me with the logic, Justin. Okay, so... Uh... Need to connect the men in black with two men. Now we have collected some testimony regarding the culprits. Mr. Saw, she saw, says she saw two men slip away with John. Furthermore, the taxi driver says he picked up two men in his taxi. Mm -hmm. They must be the same guy. It seems likely, however, there is still a problem. According to the taxi driver, the two men were alone. John wasn't with them. He was in the box. Yeah, you're right. That is a problem. Next one. Stolen box. John wasn't so, with him. John wasn't with them, 
and yeah, stolen box. Sure, I was on top of it. Nice. <laughs> you put the you put the kidnapped boy into it. What if the kidnapper stole the box? Uh, you mean they? Exactly. They took it in order to carry John inside it. He was a tiny kid after all. And the reason the taxi driver didn't see John it was because. It's likely he was put in a trunk as the kidnapper's luggage. But why did they need to go to the tunnel to find him? Or they will be suspected. Yeah, at first the kidnappers might have intended to abduct him without being seen. However, they didn't appreciate all the policemen in the plaza. They see, if they tried to just walk away with him, they would have been spotted. Just a mere presence of the policeman should have been a, a simple, sizable threat. I get it. In the case, we gotta ask a threat taxi driver. The two men. Did the two men told you. Uh, did, did the two men you told us about earlier have any luggage with them? Do you remember where the, you took the, those men? Sounds to me like something serious has gone down and down. Even if I can take you to the same place I took them. Let's do it, Mr. Edward! Yes, thank you for your help. No problem, just leave it to me. Nice, Justin! Oh! Even Justin took your line of the driver. <laughs> what? Yeah. I did it. You did yeah, it before? Took the line. Oh. oh, Justin took the line, but that's okay. Yeah, no worries. 12, 6, 12, p.m. Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. I guess the location mark. is a question mark. Yeah, question mark. Oh, uh, taxi drove way too fast. I don't feel good. I might throw up. <laughs> Mr. Atrus, are you alright? Your face is really pale. I, I am fine. The driver said they came to this house garage. This but house was. This must be where those two men brought the box. Ah, Mr. Atrus, look at the nameplate on the door. Nameplate? What? Plays the best? Does this mean that? No. Does that mean the one who kidnapped John was placed the best? They should already have been arrested, though. That door is unlocked. You really do have a good eye for such uh, sort of things. We're coming for you, Mr. Boy. Smells like model oil. Maintain the mode. The cycle must be placed hobby. Excuse me, we're coming in. Anybody home? Doing something like this, it, it is if you were a couple of pity thieves. Be quiet right now. We are the great thieves. Have some self awareness. She's scolding me. Nobody's here for now. It looks like. We can get through without being arrested. This isn't the time to be relieved. Now the real deal begins. Let's go look for treasure. We are looking for John, not <laughs> treasure. Well, John is the treasure. Yeah. But yeah, sadly, guys, this is where we gonna end it up for this week. So yeah. <sighs> we will see you around next week everybody if you like the comment so far make sure that a sexy free follow button you can also go to twitch.tv says magman dragon i'll be streaming you can also go to dv.com says magman dragon i will be posting my art you can also go to our discord server or twitter page down below make sure to hit the watch button the subscribe button the follow button the notification bell <gasps> and i'm not talking now YouTube, you search for Princess
feeling like why do you have to go for it? Because I have ma because I have mimic uh, one of these uh, on to YouTube. And if you want to go to my DVR, you search for the word Zero Hedgehog, which spreads actually in each um, face bar. There you have it. And if you want to go to my YouTube, it's just Paris Man. My Twitch is just Paris Minor, and my DeviantArt Art is Dr. Chester the First. And there you go. I wish y'all a good day, a good week, and peace, my Have a nice day.